for a very beautiful morning here across the valley. Here's a live look right now from the DHR health camera in Edinburgh. Definitely a very gorgeous sunrise in store for us as we head throughout the rest of our morning. Of course, McAllen, 79 degrees, Harlingen, 78, Brownsville right now at 80 degrees. That's a live look from the NBC 23 Far Bureau there, seeing some increased activity out on the expressway. But we're off to a fairly beautiful morning, although those temperatures are a bit on the muggy side. Winds are also calm out of the southeast between 5 and 10 miles an hour. As far as our dog walk forecast, expect those temps to continue warming up into the upper 80s by 11 a.m., 12 p.m., 89 degrees. High temps today topping out in the low 90s, but when you factor in that humidity, it's going to feel like it's around 98 degrees by the 1 p.m. 2 p.m. hour there. So definitely expecting warm conditions and that muggy conditions are, are in full force because those dew points are in the upper 70s across the area. So you're able to see those muggy conditions with our little legend in the corner there as we uh, head throughout the rest of our day. But there were some showers earlier this morning. Those showers have definitely tapered off uh, as of now, and we are expecting that rain chance to diminish as we head throughout the rest of our afternoon hours there. But as we go into the rest of our the next several days, we are expecting very a lot of activity going on in the tropics because it is the first day of hurricane season. There is a disturbance over the Yucatan Peninsula. The National Hurricane Center now giving that system a 70% chance of development within the next five days. This system is expected to head towards Florida. That was the remnants of Agatha that was over the Pacific Ocean. Of course, if this does form into a tropical depression or a named storm, it will take on a different name as Alex because the Atlantic Basin has a different set of names there. There's also another disturbance off the east coast of the U.S. that has a 10% chance of development. So this system has no threat to the Rio Grande Valley. We have high pressure system over the south central U.S. that will keep that system well away from us. So folks in South Florida need to be eyeing this system fairly closely as we head into the next uh, coming days. But mostly calm across Texas. There is a stationary front moving through the panhandle, bringing some showers and storms to Oklahoma. That system is not going to move south. That's going to stay well to the north of us. We're just going to continue to see those warm quiet conditions here across the valley. Highs in the 90s, lows in the 70s. We can expect to see some showers in the forecast once again as we head into tomorrow morning, but very isolated showers expected, mainly along our coastal areas. But then as for the end of the week, mostly sunny. We have a high pressure system moving in overhead that's going to warm those temperatures up as well as uh, bringing back those breezy conditions. And we're going to see those humidity increase as well as we head into the end of the next of this week into the start of next week. The latest drought monitor showing no drought conditions for the Rio Grande Valley, all thanks to the rain that we received last week. But a look at your seven day forecast. We are expecting those temperatures to continue being rather warm and humid, topping out in the 90s for the next few days. We are going to be seeing some gradual clearing to mostly sunny conditions for next weekend, but it's going to be hot and muggy and humid for the end of next week and into the start of next week. Overnight lows in the 70s for the next seven days.